Hello my soccer universe, uh, at the moment Chelsea and City are playing out what is potentially one of the dullest semi-finals I have seen on a club level in a long 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 time, more or less chess in many ways um, and so yeah I want to make it more exciting by showing you two new acquisitions that I have, there's actually a third jersey that is kind of new but I'm gonna save this for another video because I have to digest uh, everything there and I think that those two jerseys especially with that background and with me wearing these Austria jerseys make a whole lot of sense. Uh, we have one in a parcel that I ordered Friday morning it arrives on Saturday I was actually wanting it to arrive it on Monday because I know this video will not post until Wednesday because I have already many videos up there so yes sometimes it takes a little while until things uh, post and uh, there's often a delay in there so that's the one that will open last and then I got one uh, was a little bit an impulsive buy but it was only 10 bucks and it was someone here in Linz that I could meet to get it and it is this 2010 Germany home jersey I have only now one other Germany jersey with the 2014 one and I have to say um, going into the Euros I knew I will probably need a second Germany jersey and to be honest this of the last 20 years or so this might well be my favorite jersey I have to honestly say um, maybe the only bone of contention here is that the crest is uh, a, you know golden on black maybe here this white wood will be nice but I really really like it has the traditional Germany look with white a little bit of Adidas striping I really like the um, template of um, the 2010 World, World Cup with this kind of mandarin color the gold here is nice then and what really sets it apart for me is this really nice um, off-center stripe and of course with the German flag. I think this is very uh, delicately put and I really really li like it. Another nice detail is that on the crest are the, th the years, it says 54, 74 and 90, uh, the winning years of, of winning World Cup years. Then on the back it's also plain and this is kind of uh, also, uh, this is a lot of clear and there's Deutsche Fußballbund. This is a really nice jer uh, jersey and not going too much into it. Just look at the sleeve cuffs. You think it is just black with the gold to kind of keep with the color? No. It actually also has the German flag in there and that is a nice touch. Although, yes, uh, black, red and gold are the German colors. But if you look a little bit into the Vexi, Vexicology, is that how the flag is? Uh, the gold is only, fig figuratively it should actually, uh, actually be a yellow, this is not an official flag of Germany, which has been clarified meanwhile, but yeah, they use it on the soccer jersey. I have to say, quite happy, this is probably my favorite Germany jersey, I also have to say, while they were not the best team, they were the most entertaining team at the World Cup, although I didn't really like it, they were definitely more entertaining than um, in 2014, and also, I had the chance to get a 2006 one for the same price, um, but I have to say I like this one better. So that's why I went for that one. Let's open a new one. So we got a neighbor to the west. This jersey here is now the one that I I have to tell you. I, I wanted to get a jersey for every team at the Euros. And I have 23 out of 24 teams, so only one team is missing. If you have watched, uh, shall I cut this open or can I just, I uh, probably have to cut this open. If you've watched my video of top 10 jerseys that I want, or 10 jerseys that I want to have, you know already which country I'm probably talking about if you're a regular watcher. Uh, but you know, it's a neighboring country of Austria. That much I can tell you already. And it is a jersey I had to pay unfortunately, I think it was 63 for Forge and it came with free shipping, around 63 euros um, and I was really hoping, really hoping to get one for cheaper because almost everything else I got, I mean North Macedonia aside, everything else I got for a whole lot cheaper uh, if I needed, need, needed to get, get a new, but this one, the price this didn't keep dropping, I could not see anything. 
Uh, they have me here some goodies if I want to bet, which I'm not allowed to, then they have the soccer store. Uh, yeah, the, I, I can get, you know, whatever they offer, but you know, I know that anyway. And then, yeah, the Red Bull stuff. Uh, not really interesting that. Let's get to the jersey. Let me show you. And it's a little bit of shame that I didn't have one of these either earlier but i have to say i'm quite happy that i finally had one it's now let's move here to the west you see is sitting see, see, see to the south here to be honest so we had first the germany germany in the west now we have hungary in the east so this is my deck it's the current hungary current hungary home jersey it is i could not find any other hungary jersey i have to say i i really don't dislike this jersey i think it's a very nice looking one especially that it has uh as we will see the danube motif and i don't mind having uh you know a recent adidas jersey but on the other side yeah no most hung hungry jerseys anyway not so it has everything that i want from a hungary jersey it is red you have here the pattern of the danube and since the danube is yeah to the south we have the, you know in 10 minutes you're at the danube here um it has of course the coat of arms with the crown of saint stephen and then the federation crest honestly that would be sufficient for for me but okay they put the federation crest on there uh as well um and yeah not much more to it uh to be honest the tag is of course here at the inside tag and yeah while this tag is true it does not unfortunately always guarantee and this is uh, that you get a legit jersey but uh, more more than on a week on a video that will probably come on the weekend but yeah i have now a jersey for all 24 teams at euro 2020 which will be played in 2021 quite happy about that one i have to move it to the east again so that we are i'm wearing austria so these are the two Hungary is the oldest rival of the Austrian national team. Germany is the most recent one. So <laughs> I need to pull an Austrian jersey. So, but yeah, let's put them geographically right here. So we have those three, uh, those three jerseys. Yeah, I'm actually quite happy with this one, I have to say. And yeah, let's see how Hungary will do in a group with Germany, France and um, Portugal rather rather tough group uh yeah chelsea man city is almost over we'll talk about the uh, by the time maybe i have already made may made the video so this is only the second jersey from uh euro 2020 that i have third jersey uh, i have the two italy home because the third will no, 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 not be worn but i'm not sure if i will get many more uh dedicated ones because i have from, as I said, from every team, I have at least one jersey. Before I end this video, I actually want to tell you, because I figured this out the other day, uh, that this jersey is now number 198 in my collection, which makes this 190. No, this is 198. This is 197. So I'm too short of 200. And yeah, I'm going back, back, back and forth if I should just continue collecting normally or if I should get, some, get something special for 200. Let's see. Let me know what you thought about these uh, jerseys that I've shown you here. Uh, give me a thumbs up, enjoy this video, subscribe to my channel if you want to see more. And I will talk to you soon. Bye. Hey there. I really hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, here are some videos and playlists that you might enjoy too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel as it will keep you updated on all the things that are rotating in my soccer universe. And with that, I wish you a wonderful day. Bye!